Before we begin, click subscribe to stay up to date with all of our newest video content. Today we're going to look at how to create custom forms in scissor tail. These can be done from scratch, but I'm going to focus on the more exciting and much easier way to do that, and that is through using an existing PDF form. Let's get started. We will go to the hamburger menu in the top left. We're going to go to co company settings, then we're going to choose HR setup, then we're going to select custom forms. We are now in the area where the custom forms are, and today I want to add an emergency contact form for our employees to complete as part of their new hire process. So I'm going to add new to create the new form. I'm going to name the form I'm going to copy that and bring it down into the description. Then I'm going to save it. I'm already, my cursor, if you notice, once I save, my cursor is already sitting on the upload PDF document, which is at the top right hand corner of the page. Let's go ahead and grab the PDF document. Uh, give us the option to choose a file. I have one right here on my desktop that I want to do. It's the emergency information form that is a PDF. I'm going to say OK. It's a two page form. So each page is brought in as a separate editable item. So let's start with page one. I'm going to click on the pencil to edit that page. And you can see the page on the left. We'll be seeing a lot of our details on the right as we get started. So let's add a new field. You can see that field popped up over here on the left in yellow. And the way to edit that field is to click on that pencil. Let's call this employee name and I'll copy that, put it in the description. It's not a character field. A character field is a free form field. So this is actually going to come from the employee information from Scissortail. Under employees, we have full name. That width is going to make a difference for us. Let's change that because currently it's at 120. It doesn't fill up our field. If we make that 200 and we say save, it looks a lot better. Now that we've done that, let me repeat that process one time just so that you see how it's done again. So we're going to add a new field. It pops up over here on the left. We're going to rename that. This time I'm going to put that in the social security box. So let's just make that SSN, SSN. This time again it's going to be an employee information related item. If we type in an S we can see Social Security right there. And I'm going to make it the same width as the last one I did. And I'm going to move it right into that Social Security box and say save. There we go. They look pretty well matched. That is pleasing to my eye. But I have another type of field that we need to do, and it's a kind of a free form field where you type in the information as you go. We don't typically keep the physician's name in scissor tail. So let's add a new field where the employee can type in their physician's name. Let it land right there. I'm going to name that physician. Copy that, put it in the description. This time I'm going to leave the type as characters. That means it's a free form and the employee can type in the doctor's name. Again, I want it to match when it comes to the width of the field. So I'm going to say 200 and let's save that. It's looking pretty good. Got that little thing where I want to just bring it over just a tiny touch. So that'll be good for now. That's page one. That's some different types of fields that we can do in our custom form. Now if I click back, you can see the fields listed. Each one has a pencil so I can edit those if I choose. But if I click back again, 
Now I have page one and page two, and we haven't touched page two, but we need to because there's more fields that we have not had the chance to complete yet. When I click on the edit button here, now I'm seeing page two, and here's an employee signature. Now the nice thing about scissor tail is we can do electronic signatures, which is great. And let's add a new field. Let's edit that field. Let's name it employee signature. I'll abbreviate it there. This is going to be under sign. And who can sign it? I want the employee to sign it. 120 I don't think is going to be wide enough, but let's take a look at it. Let's bring this down here and I'll just set it on that line and say save. I really want it wider, so let's go ahead and update that. So last time we were doing about 200. This time if we do about 300, it should look, yeah, that looks, that looks pretty good on that line. So I'd save that. We also want to do the date and have it fill in the date for us. If we put in date here, and then under type, we want date. I'm going to bring this down. 120 doesn't quite cut it. What if I change that to 150 just because aesthetically I think I might like that better. There we go. Let's save that. Now, here's what's really cool about this. I've saved it, but what does it look like? If I go out to where my fields are, you can see I have a preview button. And if I preview this, I'll see the form the same way the employee sees the form. So when the, the employee sees page two of this form and they click this button that says they want to sign it, it automatically puts in the employee's name and today's date, and all they have to do is put in their password and click agree, and their electronic signature has been recorded. That I really like the fact that this is going to save me so much more time in my HR world. Was this video helpful? Click subscribe to see more videos like this one.